And when you look at the rest of the world, you know, they were trying to say, oh, we weren't doing now. All of a sudden, a lot of the, the places that they were using to hold up, they're having a big surge. They're having a — and I don't want that. I don't want that. But they were holding up names of countries, and now they're saying, whoops. In fact, even New Zealand, you see what's going on in New Zealand. They beat it. They beat it. It was like front page. They beat it because they wanted to show me something. The problem is big surge in New Zealand. So, you know, it's uh, — it's terrible. We Obviously, uh, I don't think there's any comparison between New Zealand's current uh, cluster um, and the tens of thousands of cases that are being seen daily uh, in the United States. Obviously, every country is experiencing uh, its own fight with COVID-19. It is a tricky virus, but not one where I would compare New Zealand's current status to the United States. Look, I think for anyone who's following COVID and its transmission globally, um, we'll quite easily see that New Zealand's nine cases um, in a day does not compare to the United States' tens of thousands, and in fact does not compare to most countries in the real world. I'm not concerned about people misinterpreting our, our status. Well, obviously it's patently wrong. Um, but again, as I say, those people who are following what's happening around the world will see New Zealand's status. We, we are still one of the best performing countries in the world when it comes to COVID. Our workers um, are focused on keeping it that way.